Number 10. Wild Rapids Water Slides Last year, Central Alberta's Wild Rapid Water Slides was shut down, making it no longer accessible to the public. Prior to this, the water park was operating in a small Canadian resort town near Red Deer, and actually featured 12 main slides, namely the Kamikaze, Hell's Gate, Rio Grande, Harikari, Octopussy, Body Blaster, Tube Blaster, Sneaky Snake, Cinnamon Twist, and Sidewinder. Owned by the Bear Development Corporation, the park was built upon a pier that once held a sole water slide. The doors to the park opened in 1982, where it lasted just under 35 years. The reason for its recent closure is cited as maintenance and safety costs being way too expensive. Although that may be the price for safety nowadays, it upset a few yearly visitors. Now that the water park is closed, the town owns the pier and is currently planning for some future projects. Perhaps it will be a new water park. Either way, this one water park you can never go to again. Number 9. Hydro Water Roller Coaster The Hydro Water Roller Coaster was an Oakwood theme park classic, often reviewed as the fastest and wettest water ride in the world. Of course, all that changed in 2004 when Haley Williams, a 16-year-old girl, fell off the ride to her death. The accident occurred because the security safety bar was not lowered before the ride's departure. This almost crucial mistake made the fall that occurred during the 50 miles per hour drop pretty much inevitable. After being airlifted from the park, she died in the hospital. The park was closed for a year, coming back out with new policies and safety measures such as over-the-shoulder restraints and a much slower top speed. Then in 2011, the ride was renamed to Drenched, probably to dissociate the ride and her death. Regardless, the water slide that was once the Hydro Water Roller Coaster is now much less exciting. Number 8 the steamer. Almost surviving solely on infamy, the Calypso water park has gone through a lot of legal trouble in the past. Their first real incident sparked a $1.33 million lawsuit from Merrick Strelak, who had suffered a skull fracture in 2012 due to park employee negligence on the orange bobsleigh slide. A park customer who happened to be a doctor treated Merrick, whilst the park employees allegedly hesitated to call emergency services. In recent years, the park has gone through quite a bit more of legal trouble from major spinal injuries and accidents dating back to 2011 to four safety violations. The steamer was a dangerous attraction on its own. Ride flips were pretty common. The ride was eventually shut down just before the end of the park's 2014 season by the TSSA due to poorly trained attendance and physical issues with the ride. Number 7. The Cannonball Loop. The first thing that comes to mind when seeing this slide is, you could die on that. Funny enough, that is exactly why it is on this list. Action Parks has had its fair share of controversy, primarily coming from the park's almost supernatural ability to make and select rides that, even after a quick glance, are absolutely insane. The Cannonball Loop is one of the most famous of these rides, consisting of a closed top water slide, which was a very popular design at the time and considered to be safer than open-topped rides. The Cannonball Loop was innovative in a unique way among water slides. The difference between the Cannonball Loop and every other water slide at the time was that the Cannonball Loop incorporated a full vertical loop in its design, meaning that anyone who went on the ride would be upside down on a dry surface, with a wall in front of them. Even people working at Action Park at the time absolutely refused to test the slide, turning down hundreds of dollars being offered to anyone who would go on it. Number 6. Verrucked Water Slide With a German name that translates directly into the English word crazy, is it any surprise that the Verrucked Water Slide in Kansas City is on this list? The slide was built as, and in fact currently still is, the tallest water slide ever built. At nearly 170 feet tall, Verrucked was opened with a bang including a TV special about the construction and design of the water slide. Among other honors, it was chosen as the best new water park attraction of 2014 by Golden Ticket Awards, an award given out by Amusement Today, a magazine for the amusement park industry. Despite the long design period and careful construction, not to mention all the scrutiny to the project given its enormous size, a disaster struck the ride not long after it was opened. In 2016, a 10-year-old boy named Scott Schwab went on Verrucked while visiting the park. 
Due to a weight balancing mistake while the sled was loaded, it was too heavy on one side, causing it to bounce into the air on one of the turns. Unfortunately, there was a support beam directly above said turn. A tragic disaster ensued, where young Scott Schwab was decapitated, and two of the other riders suffered serious injuries, including broken jaws and cheekbones. The ride was promptly shut down, with a criminal investigation ongoing even today. Number 5. Sliding Rock Sliding Rock is a very unique water attraction, mostly due to the fact that nobody built it. While it would be interesting if it was created by magic, Sliding Rock is a naturally occurring water slide in North Carolina. Consisting of a very shallow angle, the waterfall that makes up the Sliding Rock has become famous over time for being an actually safe to slide waterfall, which is not common due to the way water usually erodes rocks. While the waterfall is great fun to slip and slide on, it is much more often than not closed to the public due to its nature as a natural thing. If there has been rain recently, the slide must be closed because the water will be much deeper than is safe, and will be flowing much, much faster than usual. The scarier, though realistically less dangerous scenario is when it begins to storm during the day, meaning the slide must be evacuated due to lightning concerns. Number 4. Jumeirah Skira, Dubai. Standing at 32 meters or just over 104 feet tall, Jumeirah Skira is one of the tallest water slides in Dubai. This slide is one of those ones where they load you into a small chamber and drop the floor out from under you. The resulting fall has you pressed against the bottom of the slide at high speeds. In fact, the Jumeirah Skira is one of the fastest water slides in the world, with a top speed of a mind blowing 80 kilometers per hour faster than some highways and much faster than most urban road speed limits anywhere else in the world. While there have not been any deaths yet, any accidents that do happen to take place while the riders are going at this speed obviously have the potential to be deadly, since they are basically going at highway speeds without any car body to protect them when they do hit something. Number 3. Wet n Wild Water Park Wet n Wild Water Park was an icon of the Orlando tourist scene, having been on International Drive, one of the largest and busiest commercial areas in the entire region since March 13, 1977. It was one of the oldest, most notable water parks in the area, which is especially impressive considering Orlando also plays host to some of the most famous water parks in the entire world. With competition like SeaWorld and, of course, Walt Disney World, it is hardly surprising that Wet n Wild World closed. Though the original park could not hold up, Universal was not quite ready to completely give up. As of May 25th, 2016, Universal has built a successor to Wet n Wild in the form of Volcano Bay. Let's hope this one lasts even longer. Number 2. Brainwash Water Slide. Brainwash was a water slide located in Orlando, Florida. Notably, it was a water slide in a less common style, as it was an enclosed water slide in the shape of a tornado. The novel shape of the slide, combined with the fear-inducing nature of being enclosed, made the ride itself fast-paced and exciting. On the other hand, the rafts that the park provided were often reviewed by riders as being far smaller than they probably should have been, resulting in an uncomfortable feeling of anxiety. Though no accidents ever occur during the life of Brainwash, it is very easy to imagine the horrible consequences of one, with the fast speed and enclosed tube meaning nobody would see the result until it was too late. Number 1. Sky Caliber, New Jersey The Sky Caliber is perhaps a sort of answer to the loop water slide problem. It features a nearly 100 foot drop. 45 feet of which is an absolute free fall, and a 30 foot loop. This may make you ask yourself, how can someone survive that? The answer is in their capsule system. Rides will essentially be enclosed in bullet shaped cages made out of aluminum. After going through a series of safety tests, the ride opened in Action Park in the summer of 2016. However, because of all these safety precautions, it is clear that if you went down without a capsule or some kind of mechanism went wrong, a person definitely could die. It may be sad, but a part of life is that we don't know if something is fully safe until an accident happens. Like the video? Comment down below what you thought? 
and of course, subscribe to the channel.